Hello and welcome back to day number 128 of my road to 200 kilogram total. Now for today, it is the snatch and front squat and shoulder press day. Again, even though yesterday I talked about how I'm no longer, I no longer am following the pers the one-on-one -on -one training with Sega Strength, I'm still utilizing the blueprint of the of the program that Fitz gave, and I'm just modifying it to fit <coughs> what I think will be is the culmination of my weightlifting knowledge so far for the past two or um, almost three years. Yeah. So. Um, okay, I'm gonna talk about a little bit on the what I touched on yesterday with the concept of super compensation. So for today, I'm just do doing 80% of my snatch work, uh, but I'm 80% of the snatch complex work. So my usual complex work for this day would be just a snatch plus overhead squats, but I'm changing it up because. After hitting on my max deadlift of 160, I realized that my pulling strength has gone, has gotten down tremendously. I'm not as strong of a puller. Uh, however, the, the even though my ratio got better between my front squat and ham uh, front front squat, uh, quad and the hamstring strength, it's become apparent that yeah, I'm definitely weaker with my when it comes to the pulls, although technically better, which is important, I still need that that pulling strength. So some instead of just a snatch plus overheads plus overhead squats for reps, it's now two snatches plus overhead squats. So you yeah, um, you're then gonna ask me why why then did I do two snatches yesterday? I honestly don't know, it's just something I'm used to, but yeah. Uh so for today, it's just 80%. So to touch upon what I said a while ago with super compensation or how Zach described it in in the USA weightlifting manual, which I'm also reading at the moment because I'm going to be taking my certification in a month. Uh, yeah, in a month. Um, basically, what, I'm try what you're trying to accomplish is you have a loading... You have a base... Um, terminology might be off I'm st I still need to go back to it but you have a base phase so I'm that's where I'm at right now which is four sets of this complex at 80% next week it's a loading phase which is going to be uh, five sets at 85% so an increase in an increase in sets or volume and within the corresponding increase in intensity so that's uh, from Four sets, to five sets, and then from eighty to eighty-five percent of my snatch. Now, in the ne after next week or going into the third week, I'm gonna you're gonna have a deload, which is where you will, yeah, a deload. So I'm just gonna drop down the both the volume and the intensity. So instead of four sets, I'm gonna be dropping it down to maybe two or three, probably three, just so I can still maintain the technical aspect and drop down to 75% and then uh, during the fourth week I'm gonna be doing 90% of that of this complex so that's gonna be basically what I did yesterday but then for just two set for just three sets but on the third set it's more of a if the first two sets were pretty good I have the option to go up and set a PR yeah so that's basically that's yeah basically that's how it'll go for how i plan to structure the rest of my training just constant improvement uh for the complexes it's it will follow the more american way of uh step loading oh not step loading sorry um linear periodization wherein it'll go up a wave system there you go goes up up down up and up up down up which you, and then you'll see a trend in the weight just going up and up and it's really good especially with what I have planned on just increasing my squat just yeah increasing my squat to hopefully 150 160 from 140 right and then yeah that's what I'm utilizing for my oh here we go there's the first working set at 50 at 65 sorry so this is actually the first time you get you guys get to see these blue plates 
right? Not as aggressive with the feet. Don't worry, I managed to fix that later. Yeah, and it's also important to give yourself feedback, like there. I knew to myself that I wasn't being as aggressive with the feet during the first rep, so during the second rep, just went for it. Uh, yeah. So for the complexes, complex work, it follows the wave pattern of up, up, down, up, up, down. And while for the main uh, main lifts like the snatch, clean and jerk, it's going to be following more of the step loading we're in. Yeah, for the next four weeks, it's just going to be the same weight over and over and over again until it feels just absolutely easy. And then I make it take it to a bigger, and then I make a bigger jump. But still basing it off of my uh, normal 1RM. So the idea of that is that it will help. Basically, you're just acclimatizing yourself, myself, to heavy weights. Because I think I haven't been able to, I didn't have enough time to get used to that. And because the past few months has really just been improving on technique and, uh, yeah, rebuilding my technique and maybe trying to get a bigger squat so that my previous maxes would be would be easy. But yeah, definitely, definitely, I still need to work on actually lifting heavy because that is the sort of weightlifting. Now that one was technically the best because of the speed under but I was not very happy with the aggression of the feet so there we go. Got it there. And yeah that was the last set. Yeah just caught it and then I put it, racked it on the bar. Uh, unlike yesterday wherein I just after straight after the clean jerk I went to the back squat at my working set. But nope, uh, I still had to work my way up to 100. And honestly, these were these felt heavy. Uh, yeah, these felt really heavy, even as I was warming up. So it was pretty good that I did warm up. Otherwise, it wouldn't wouldn't have been the form wouldn't have been as good. Right, first working set at 100 kilos for front squats. Yeah, I noticed with how Fitz programmed my. My back squats and front squats, front back the front squats would more or less be the same weight as the back squats, except lower, ver very much lower volume. So that's I'm keeping that same idea. So it also ties into what I talked about before of just getting used to the, used to these weights throughout the course of a week. So yeah, this is the second set, moving it very very well. then last one yeah just three sets of four compared to yesterday's four sets of six boom and then last one pop it off yep and ending it with some shoulder presses yeah definitely 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 weaker overhead yeah, as you can tell by those really, really small arms and the small ass shoulders. Yeah, definitely need to get get those up. But yeah, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys like it and I'll see you in the next one. Take care everyone. Bye.